Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a muscle building chest and triceps workout. This workout uses multiple muscle building techniques that require you to have at least two pairs of dumbbells. You'll need one heavier and one lighter pair so that you can work up in weight as needed. The way that you're going to be using for today's workout is going to be completely dependent upon your fitness level. We're going to be using a bench as well as a stability ball throughout this workout, but we will provide floor modifications, and in that case, you're going to need a chair for one of the movements. If you have not warmed up yet, go ahead and do so by clicking this link in the upper corner so we can get you started on our five minute warm up. Otherwise, let's get right into it. Let's go. We're going to start with the chest press. We're doing four sets. We're going to start with a lighter weight, doing a set of 15, then 12, 10, and 8. So when we get set up. And you'll be increasing weight as we go. And you'll be increasing your weight as you go. Claudia's going to be on the bench. I'm going to be on the stability ball, but you can also do this one from the floor. Yep. So anytime you're setting up, you're going to use your legs to pick up your weights, weight back in your hips, stand up, and then go ahead and sit down with them on your lap. Go ahead and use your legs to help kick them back into position. And if you're on the stability ball, go ahead and walk forward to get into position. Now we're going to hit 15 repetitions, pressing all the way up and all the way down, staying nice and under control. If you're on the stability ball, keep your hips up. Breathe. Again, full range of motion all the way up, all the way down, staying nice and under control. I want you to focus on keeping your elbows directly under the dumbbells so that's where your pow your power is at so keep those elbows under the dumbbells feel that chest stretch a little bit at the bottom good got five more after this one breathe i want you to inhale on the way down the lowering phase and exhale on the way up so you're breathing in on the way down out on the way up two more All right, last one. Excellent, okay. So we can go ahead and set those down. And next we are doing a set of 12. So if you're gonna increase your weight for this next set, now's the time, now's to, the do time it. to do it. So I'm gonna increase mine. We're aiming for about 30 seconds rest in between these sets. Just enough time for our muscles to fully recover so we can hit this next set. Go ahead and get everything into position. All right. And again, guys, if I was going with heavier weights right now, kind of like what Coach Kozak said on a bench, you just kick one leg up, other one, and get your weights up. Exactly. All right, moving into it. Next set, we have 12 repetitions. Use those legs, pop them up, and all the way up, all the way down. Good. Again, stay nice and under control. Not a race on these ones. You want to keep a good pace, but at the same time, not a race. Good. Core stays tight. Even if you're on the bench, keep your core tight. You don't want to just be loose lying down there. Two more. Inhale on the way down and press. Inhale on the way down and press. Last, Last one. one. Done. Good. Nice job. All right, so that's two down, two to go. We're moving uh, into the set of 10 repetitions. I'm gonna increase one more to another time here. I'm gonna increase two. I'm using these power blocks here. Uh, we do recommend them, I, I like them. If you wanna check them out, we have a link in the video description. Uh, just adjustable dumbbells. And get it going, 10 reps. Ah. Full range of motion. Again, try and keep those dumbbells over your elbows. Know where that plane of power is. 
Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Got two more, guys. Last one. Boom. All right. Excellent. Ah. All right. Starting to feel good already. We have one more set of eight. Again, if you're changing your weight, I'm going to go up. I'll max these guys out real quick. And if you were wondering, yes, this is our real workout right here too. This is uh, this is our workout for the day. So, all right, last set of eight. Let's get it going. All right. Whew. Whew. Ooh, gonna feel this one. All right. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Excellent. Breathe. Good. Eight repetitions. We're this is halfway right here. Entering that strength realm on this one. Good. Keep it up. Almost there. The last one right here, guys. Eight. Ah, and done. All right. All done with the chest press. Next, we're doing a superset of two exercises. First, we're doing a dumbbell pullover, and then we're doing a dumbbell triceps pronate kickback. Going back and forth between the two, we're doing 15, 12, and then eight, getting a little heavier every time. Okay, so go ahead and get set up with your one dumbbell, either on your stability ball, bench, or floor, or if, you need, floor to, if yep. you need to. I'm gonna walk forward. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your grip for a dumbbell. Make sure you're using a diamond grip here. Go ahead, pull it up over your head and just make sure that when you do the movement that the weight is distributed evenly on both hands. Keep that core tight as you press your hips up, slight bend in your elbows and allow the dumbbell to travel overhead. Feeling that stretch in your ch chest and a little bit in your lats as well and pull it back over. Again, we're doing 15 repetitions, staying nice and under control. Your range of motion on this one is really dependent on your flexibility and your mobility. Take it to the point where you're feeling a little stretch, but where you're not feeling uncomfortable. That's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. Good, make sure you're breathing in on the way down and exhale as you press up, good. Almost there. Got five more. Breathe. Good. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Excellent. Two more, guys. Almost there. Lactic acid burn is going to kick in, that's for sure. And 15. Here Good. you go. All right. Sitting up. All right, moving into that dumbbell tricep pronate kickbacks. So you're going to need two dumbbells for this next one. Changing my weight up here. Again, we're doing 15 repetitions. So on this one, you're gonna bend over at a 45 degree angle, bring those elbows up, and then we're only going to extend at the elbow. So full range of motion, and really trying to isolate your triceps on this one. Only bend in at that elbow. Squeeze the back of your arms up at the top. And as we get a little more fatigued, you're gonna be five more tempted to get some momentum involved, but try your best not to. Good, almost there. And last one right here. Boom, hit it. Nice work. Oh. Okay. At least start light on those. So go ahead and for switch me. your weight back up. One dumbbell needed for that dumbbell pullover. I'm increasing by about 20% for this next one. I'm staying the same with my weight. So again, you don't always have to go up. Just uh, you may make this work out your own. Okay, good. Getting into position. We have 12 repetitions for this next set. And begin. Good, again, keeping that slight bend in your elbows. Don't, don't lock them out. And with your lower body, you should be driving and supporting, stabilizing off of your heels. Yeah, you're gonna get a little glute and hamstring and lower back work on this. We call that extra credit, nothing Halfway wrong with through, that. right there. Good, breathe in on the way down and exhale on the way up. Nice work, keep it up guys. Getting a little closer to that goal with every single rep, right there, rep by rep. And here's the last one. 
Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Again, right back into it. We're going, keeping the pace up between this and that pronate kickback. Super set, back to back. Get right into it. Ideally, we have a shooting for a 15 second rest in between these two. All right. Weight back in your hips, 45 degree angle. Elbows are up. Let's hit it. Two, three, four. Don't you just love how stability balls have a mind of their own? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck trying to get one to stay in place. Good. Pull them back on those elbows. Only bending Two at them. Two more. Get those elbows up. Come on. Push through and it. And last one. Push through it. Nice. And next up, we're gonna do a tri set. So that's three exercises, a dumbbell fly, then a dumbbell chest press with rotation, and finally a dumbbell tricep elbow out extension. We're gonna do three sets, one set of 12, one set of 10, one set of eight, working your way up in weight. All right, let's get into it. We're starting with probably a pretty lighter weight for this first, uh, this first movement, the dumbbell fly. Go and ahead. again, all three of these movements can be done from the floor. They so they exactly can. the same. All right, go ahead and get back into position. Now on this one, we're gonna have a slight bend in your elbows and act like you're wrapping your arms around a tree. As you lower the dumbbells, I want you to maintain that same bend throughout your elbows. I want you to breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. A good thing to focus on on this one is up at the top, like you're trying to squeeze a quarter in between your two chest muscles. Just squeeze up at the top. Really emphasize your That's chest. That's halfway point right there, guys. Another note is to try to keep the dumbbells in line with your chest. A big mistake I see a lot of times, guys, get the dumbbells up and they're like over their face, over their shoulders, and then your shoulders are forced to take over. We don't want that. We want your chest to do the work. Good. You got your last one coming up right here. And, and 15. 12. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell I was in count. I let Claudia do the count. <laughs> All right, take a little 15 second rest, switch up moving, your weights. Yep, and we're, we're changing weights and we're going into that dumbbell chest press with rotation. So for which most of you, that means we increasing the weight a little bit. So it's kind of similar, very similar to the, the movement we did earlier, but only this time around, we're going to get a twist up at the top. And if you, you're not switching your weights, you still need this 15 second rest period. You do, again, this is not a cardiovascular no. uh, movement. Your, your muscles need this time to recover in between sets. It's a key to muscle building. Correct. So slow down. All Let's right, go. so walking in forward into position. Dumbbell chest press with rotation. So on this one, we're gonna go ahead and go down like you normally would on that chest press. But as you come up, I want you to rotate your palms to the face of one another and squeeze your chest up at the top. Rotate them back down on the way down, and then up. Good, it's 12 repetitions again on this one. Thank you, Claudia, for keeping us in line on the reps. You gotcha. What would I do without her? Go ahead and squeeze that chest up at the top, and breathe, good. We're halfway through. Full range of motion. You got it, one into the next. Now you see I'm using the stability ball throughout this whole workout, and it does add that extra component of stability and core, but it also doesn't allow you to use as much weight. Last one here, gotcha. So it, it is a trade-off, and last one. All right, good. And lastly, we're moving into that dumbbell tricep extension. Again, you might want to use a weight kind of similar to the weight that you used on the fly, if I had to guess. Um, so it is just a isolation movement, only using your triceps only bending at your elbows. And make sure you bring your weights down to your chest, not to your face yeah. on the elbow out. Let's go ahead and get into position one more time. Pop them back. All right, so this time palms are gonna be facing forward. And as those dumbbells come straight down, go ahead and keep them together. And then extend at the elbow to bring the dumbbells back up, good. So basically you have the two budding ends of those dumbbells touching one another throughout the whole movement. Try your best to keep your elbows pointing up throughout it, and then that will allow you to really emphasize your triceps on this one. Halfway through. 
I like this one because uh, it hits different parts of the tricep that don't usually get hit or don't maybe don't get hit enough. Squeeze back of the arm up at the top. And Excellent. Last rep here, guys. Last one. Boom, hit it. All right, I like it. Starting to kick in. All right, so that was one time through. We have two more times through. That means we're going back to that dumbbell fly. I'm yes. Raise my weight a little bit from from last time. As am I. We did 12 reps last time. This time we're doing 10 repetitions. All right. Well, that time to pass. All right, getting back into position. Hoop. And dumbbell fly. You know, one of the beauties of the, uh, the system that we're using is while one muscle group recovers, another muscle group is working. It allows you to keep your pace up, but still allows those muscles to recover so you can get that muscle building effect. Very crucial to building muscles at time in between sets. Good. Three more. Get that slight bend in the elbows. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale as you squeeze up top. Last rep here, guys. Boom, hit it. All right, excellent. Back down. And I'm going up in weight on the next one for that dumbbell chest press plus rotation. Let's see if I can, how heavy these guys go. Again, we're doing 10 repetitions. Take a moment to rest, switch your weights. And walking into position. Use those legs to help you pop the dumbbells up if you need them. And inhale on the way down, exhale. Rotate those palms and squeeze your chest up at the top. Good, staying focused on keeping your elbows under those dumbbells. That's where your power is coming from. Don't want to let them drift over your face or forward. That way you would lose control. Squeeze your chest up to the top. Almost there. Last one right here. And zero. Nice. All right. Back down. We have that tricep extension next. We'll probably be lowering the weight. Ten repetitions. We're going chest. If we throw the, the fly is a chest exercise, the press is a compound movement, and then we're isolating with the triceps here. So it's all about how you put these exercises together. Go ahead and get into position. There's a method to the madness. All right, palms are facing forward. Keep those elbows up as they drop straight down. Good, core stays tight. As this workout starts to kick in and do its job, it's important that you think about what brought you here today to begin with, whatever that is, whatever goal you have, whether it be athletic or aesthetic, either way, focus on it. What brought you here today is what's going to get you through to the end. Got it. There you go. Ten. Boom. Ten reps. Setting them down. Right back to the start. One more time through. So we have that chest press with rotation. Last Time's one. So last one. Increase your weight if you need last to. Last one. Out the way. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to max these guys out for this last set of flies. All right, so it's eight repetitions. Ooh, I'm gonna go heavy on this one, guys, so bear with me if I'm a little quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walking forward, kicking them up. All right, good balance, slight bend in those elbows, and let's hit eight. One, two, good. Squeeze that chest up to the top. Halfway mark. I'm feeling it, guys. I'm feeling it. And the last one right here. Last ah, one. Eight. Nice. Nice. All right. That dumbbell chest press plus rotation is next. Yep. I'm gonna. I'm already maxed out, so I'm just gonna use the same heavy old <laughs> weight. 
<laughs> but again, rest is recovery. Yep, or, uh, exactly. Rest is essential. So I want you to push yourself, but use weight that you can still maintain proper form. Very important. Yes, very, very. So again, I'm got heavy here, so I'm gonna stand up using my legs. Just All right. Be careful if you're using a stability ball. <laughs> yes, take some extra skill. Here we go. Chest press plus rotation. Let's hit it. Last set, guys. Last set. Nice. Squeeze that chest up at the top. Good. Halfway. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Stay under control. Almost there. Last one. Good. Nice. <sighs> all right, we have just the one last one in this tricep. That tricep elbow out extension. Tricep. Tricep of tricep extension. <laughs> yeah. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> last set of eight repetitions. Again, challenge yourself on the weight. All right, let's go into place and begin. Try your best to keep those elbows up throughout the move. Full range of motion all the way up, but keep them under control. Two oh. more. Almost there and squeeze up at the top. Woo wee. Oh, nice. Last, Last one. Last one. Perfect. Nice. Dumbbells down. Good set. That set is done. We're gonna focus on tempo in this next round. So we have two exercises. First one is a chair, a bench, or a stability ball dip. So if you've been working on the floor and you don't have a bench or a stability ball, you're gonna need your chair Get for your this chair. one. And then second, we're gonna do a spin press. So that's just one dumbbell. But first, let's go ahead and start with this, uh, this dip. I'm gonna use a stability ball. Claudia is on the bench. Great one for triceps, shoulders, and chest. So we're gonna use a 3-0-3 tempo. So what that means is we're gonna take three seconds to lower ourselves until our elbows get to a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna take three seconds on the way up. Repeat, it's three seconds on the way down. Three seconds on the way up. If this is still too easy for you, go ahead and put your legs out straight. And that'll up the difficulty. For sure. This time under tension using this tempo technique is an excellent way to get that muscle building. We're doing eight repetitions, but it feels like way more when this you're doing your last one right here. Three zero three tempo and done. All right, good. So we need one dumbbell for that spin press. We're gonna use the same weight for all three sets. So it's one dumbbell. We're gonna hold that dumbbell on either side, squeeze the dumbbell together. And while keeping that squeeze, go ahead and extend your arm straight in front of you and then squeeze it back, three, zero, three. So one, two, three, back, one, two, three, feel that chest kicking in. I like this one, it doesn't look like much, but this one will catch up to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. There we go, good. Breathe, squeeze that chest. You got it. Good, keep it up. Eight repetitions. We're halfway through. Good, stay under control, try to keep good posture on this one. Don't lean too far back, too far forward. Soft knees. Good. Almost there. Squeeze them together. This is your last one right here. And nice. Okay. So one done of each. You set the dumbbell aside. We need your bench, ball, chair, back to the dip. So three sets of each of these getting into position. And begin. Again, nice and slow and controlled. And as we get more fatigued, it becomes harder and harder <laughs> to keep that control and to keep that slow tempo, but just focus on it. And if you started off with the harder variation, you need to switch to an easier one. Halfway. 
feel free to do so. And we encourage you to just make this workout your own, customize it to your needs, your equipment, your goals. Two more guys. Nice, come on, keep it up. Breathe. And last one, there last you go. Last one. Okay, back to that one dumbbell. Again, we're trying to keep the same weight for all three of these, but we are supersetting back to back to back to back to back. All right, squeeze together and begin. Keep those knees nice and soft. That means a little bend in them. Full range of motion. Whoo, I can tell this one. I'm going to feel this one by the end of this set. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's going to hurt when you're already feeling it on rep two. That's a good sign. Come on, guys. Stay in it. Stay here mentally. Stay focused. Don't give up. You made it this far. Let's keep on pushing. Keep on driving to the end. Halfway through. Good. Squeeze, Ooh. squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're feeling it too, guys. You're not alone. Ah, we're right there with you. Two more. Almost there. Thank goodness. Burn so good. <laughs> Burn so good. Fight through it, everybody. Ah. All right, good. Set that aside. Woo. Let your chest breathe for a second. Here's your ball. Oh, back, thank you. Sir. And now let's hit those triceps. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. Right into it. Chest is going to get a little bit of a rest while these triceps are working. And I want you to try your best to bring those elbows down to a 90. Also, be sure not to allow your legs to take over on this move, right? Make your upper body do all the work. So what I mean by that is don't, don't be helping out, <laughs> driving off your heels. Good. You got three more. Nice and controlled. Good. These terrible things are done. <laughs> You're not imagining it. This does burn. Woo, last, last one. one. Ah. How excited good. we are about that. Oh, over. man. Whew, all right. Whew. So, Sven Press, last set of eight. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to feel this one. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> We're here for a reason. Focus on that result. Focus on that goal. Focus on what it's going to take to get you from where you are today to that point in time. And whatever it is you have to do in between to make it happen. Ah, feeling so good. You can do it. Stick Halfway with point, it. point right there. Come on. You got it. This is easy. You can do this all day long. Come on. One and the next. Nice. Stick with it, guys. Stick with it. Ah. Make sure to squeeze both arms equally. Woo! Last one right here. Last one. Ah. Ah, all right. Woo. Nice work. This last set, we got a burnout coming. For our burnout, we're going to do two separate exercises, 60 seconds apiece. First one is going to be a push-up. So we're going to do 60 seconds of a push-up. Claudia's going to do the push-up from her knees. I'm going to kick it up a notch and put my feet on the stability ball. You can choose which level is right for you. Or you might just put your feet flat on the ground. Choose the push-up you want. Please. You choose what's right for you. We exactly. got 60 seconds. Assume the push-up position. We're going to give it everything you got. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Try your best to come down into your elbows are at a 90 degree angle on every set. So that means you don't want to have your hands out over your face, but instead they should be in line with your chest. Good. Keep your core tight. Make sure to breathe. One rep into the next. You're going to breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Stay focused. Grinding through. We don't have much left. Going all the way to that finish line. I've ever told you how much I love it when you give us push-ups for these types of burnout. Oh, they're so amazing. I'm feeling it too. You guys aren't <laughs> alone. We only have 15 seconds remaining. Keep going. Don't give up. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, 
one, zero. Whoo wee. All right. Goodness gracious. 60 more seconds. Dumbbell tricep extension. We need two dumbbells. Setting up either on the floor, on your ball, or on your bench. In the position we've been in a few times today. So getting down with the dumbbells up overhead. On this one, we're only gonna bend at those elbows. So similar to that elbow out extension, but our hands are different where palms are facing one another. We're hitting 60 reps. Let's go. I'm sorry, 60 seconds. Woo, I was like 60 <laughs> 60 reps. reps, oh my gosh. We're gonna be here all day. You can tell this workout's kicking in to me too. You're not alone. <laughs> As it starts to burn, my brain gets foggy. Oh my goodness, I picked a heavy weight. Come on, whatever that's you got. okay, I'm gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it. Let's go. Woo! Breathe. One to the next, drive into the end. Try our best to keep those elbows up. Just focus on those triceps, making them do all the work. If you need to, you can drop the weight Lower it and keep on moving. Kind of like to I'm going to do. Make there it a drop set if you need to. Let's go 15 more seconds. Come on, guys. Fight through, burning them out. How bad? It's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, finish strong. Zero. Oh. Oh, wow. That was fantastically awful. <laughs> <laughs> nice job out there. Thank you so much for working out with us today. If you like this workout, you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd ask that you please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you liked this video and enjoyed working out with us today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're notified every time HasFit drops a new workout. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness program and calendars. Also, check us out on your favorite social media network, whether it's Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. We're there and we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for giving us the honor and privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.